Hello viewers, welcome again to cyber video tutorial. Today I will show you another important topic of our Linux server. <coughs> Sorry. Today I will show you how to increase our swap partition in Linux server that I have given in my instruction time. At first, I need to see how many physical disks has in my machine. For this, you need to go applications and then system tools and then disk utility. Yes, here I can see that here I have 128 hard disk, 21 GB hard disk and 11 GB hard disk. This 11 GB hard disk is my new join or new added hard disk now I will create a partition and then I will add it in my sub partition so yes let's see how to do it for this I am opening my open terminal here at first I need to see how many size of our sub partition in now the common is fr double sorry p and then space hyphen n and then enter here you can see my sub partition size is 3999 okay viewers now i want to increase my sub partition for this i am going to my period this for this f d i s k f d slash dev d e v d slash sorry slash s d d my added hard disk name is sdb and then press enter here i want to see my earlier key partition p enter sdb1 sdb5 and sdb6 now i want to create another partition so the process is and press enter then i want to get logical partition and enter Again, a, here uh, we don't write anything, press enter, and here I will give a partition size plus 500 and then press enter. It has been created now. Again, uh, I press P and then press enter. Here we can see that our period partition file system is Linux. Now, I, I will change is partition sorry i will change is partition type so at first i need to see linux of partition hexa code for this at first i will press n and then from here partition type l press l for for see the hexacode Linux swap Linux swap 82 now T and press enter and uh, size is 7 and then press enter so code is 82 and press enter now if we, uh, if we press P then you can see that our partition type has been changed swap partition now will will exit from this window by pressing w that means I, after saving this task then press enter now now i will now i will restart my machine and then i will do further task i am rebooting my machine Yes, it is rebooting. After rebooting, uh, after rebooting completion, I will come back again. Yes, the process is go um, going. This is just starting.
registration restarting uh, has been completed now i am logging by using root user mentor center now again i am going to my terminal sorry terminal and then here i am giving i will give a so partition type file type the file type is s w a p swap sorry m p swap m p s w a p m p swap space slash dev slash s d b seven the name of file sorry file size <coughs> and then press enter guys this is our uuid code now i am copying it for permanent mount copy and then now i am going my register by vim editor slash it is slash f sorry fs that and I am I will write something by pressing I and then paste that I uh, I copied and then space now I will give a file path at first I need to create a folder I am creating a folder mkdir space slash swap as w a p swap and then press enter and again i am going my another tab and then i will give a partition the partitions sorry the uh, the location of the of this folder slash swap as sorry as w a p swap and then space the file type as wap swap space default d e f sorry f a g l t s default default zero space zero and then press enter now i am exiting from this window by saving it enter now I will run a command that is mount hyphen a m o u n t mount hyphen a and press enter. It, it is the command of updating our mount. Okay, now I will add this partition sub partition with our existing sub partition. At first, uh, again, I will need to see the partition size. The, of our existing uh, swap, the command is f r w f space hyphen n and then press enter. The size is 3999. Now I am adding my created newly created swap partition. So the command is s w a p swap o n swap on hyphen s and then press enter. Sorry. I have forgotten. I have mistaken. The command is dev slash sdv2 and then press enter. No, sorry, sorry, fingers. This is the sdv7 and then press enter. Now, again, if we go down the command p hyphen n, then we will see that our existing, our created, newly created. Swap partition has been added with our existing swap partition. Now press enter. Just you can see that 4509 that is we added 500 MB sizes swap hard disk or swap drive with our existing swap partition. This is my existing swap partition and this is newly. 
solve condition now if we want to again erase our uh, added condition sub partition the command is swap of wa swap of swap of space slash dev slash sd b7 then press enter now if we again run the php and command we will see that it has been removed from our existing sub partition viewers in this way we can create a swap partition delete a swap partition and permanent mount this partition viewers i am closing my video here in, in, in the next video i will come back again with another topics of our linear server so another important topics of our linear server till then okay bye bye